All right, so I want to kind of just go over briefly of the quote unquote basic guide and tips for season two. So season two is definitely different than season one. First of all, it definitely jumped in the difficulty level, I will have to say, of actually being able to clear this whole thing. All right. And on top of that, uh, though, you have gotten better cookies and you have gotten better buffs. All right, but let's kind of talk about some things that you kind of need to focus on and kind of need to, uh, I would say, you know, decide on how you want to do this. Because right now we have 11 days, all right, or about 12 days, basically, of uh, season two. And that means that within those days, you need to hurry up and buy the shop. All right. If you want to go for a higher rank, the better idea is going to be to upgrade your protocols and try and you know reach for the higher rank however if you think that you know you just want to take advantage of the event and just get the stuff from the exchange uh center then probably going for the exchange center might just be the better option if you are a casual player the reason why i say this is because you get about maybe 100 to 200 uh, data fragments per run and you get a limited time of a re refresh and uh, you know, the data fragment you get, it's going to depend on how long you actually survive, which is honestly kind of based off of RNG as well. And uh, there are some important ones like the soul stones, the light of abundance, the toppings, uh, the skill powders, crystals, cookie cutters, the jellies and stuff like that. So I will have to say, if possible, for a lot of the players, you might want to go and buy the stuff from the exchange center first and then after you buy the stuff that you already, you know, you already need, uh, you need and you want, then it probably might just be better to do that and then move on to upgrading the protocols and trying to, you know, clear the actual season. From what we have seen, I believe that we do not have season three coming out because there is there are a total of two seasons and each season features different season cookies and bug uh, fix effects. So we only have two seasons, so that's going to be it. Uh, so the, the, the cookies have definitely changed and or at least some have been added and uh, some have been removed. And it's a lot, in, in my opinion, refreshing. But also very hard because a lot of the bosses in this uh, season two is going to be immune to debuffs. So like you can't do like defense down. You can't do like weakness. You can only do those like, you know, a fire, uh, you know, poison damage and stuff like that. Uh, so again, I think the first thing that you should do is focus on exchange center and then go with the protocols. Or if you want to go with the higher score and you're ambitious about that, then go with the protocol. And I would say go, go, go upgrade HP protocol for this one. Um, at least up to maybe plus 25, if possible, 30. The reason why I say this is because the bosses and the enemies, especially the end boss, it's stinking strong. Like it, it one shots your cookies and the extra, you know, 1% HP will help out and with the correct buffs it will also help out as well um, especially like these buffs where you know with certain type of cookies you get extra you know 15 percent max hp uh, you know you get extra healing right here those kind of things will definitely help out like cookies who give damage resist like crimson coral if you can get crimson coral uh peppermint you know uh, pure vanilla with the extra shield those are going to be really really good because it decreases the amount of damage your cookies are going to take. All right. So those are going to be really, really good. Um, so I would say that's kind of like the mindset that you have to have when playing season two as of right now. So most important, again, choosing, all right, whether you're going to actually go and focus on the exchange center first. Okay. Because tickets are limited and timing is limited and you will need to sacrifice data fragments to either go for protocols or exchange center. So if you want the exchange center stuff first, go for the exchange center. And if you want to go for a protocol and ambitious about the ranking, then yeah, level up protocol, HP, and try to do that. All right. But here we go. Let's uh, do a run here. Uh, I would say for this particular one, the best one is try to go for a single tank and then two healer, two DPS would be most Optimal, the reason why I say this, and try not to get Caramel Arrow if possible, because 
you want to go and uh, try to have a chance of getting Crimson Coral, which is honestly the best tank, but you don't want to start out with two tanks or in, in between anywhere, change to a two frontliner, all right? Um, because that will mess up Crimson Coral's uh, whole thing. So we'll go with this first uh, and see how this works out. Here we go. And here we go. So Stardust is great, all right, guys? But the thing about Stardust is that you got to keep in mind that the cookies here do not have the... Uh, do not have toppings on. So if you don't get any crit buffs, then your tar uh, I mean Stardust will do damage, but just not as much damage. Alright, so you do need crit buff, and if you do have that crit buff, then it becomes amazing, alright? Um, so just keep that thing uh, those things in mind. Crimson Coral too. Crimson Coral is a little, you know, in my opinion, I, I would say it's a little buggy, but you know. The thing that you need to keep in mind is you do not want to have any, more than two frontliners anytime within the run if you really want to take advantage of Crimson Coral's buff. All right, so those are the things that you need to keep in mind. Uh, these are the things that really, 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 really going to save your butt later on too. So I'm actually going to take this just in case I, I do get to switch out some of my cookies to a water cookie. Um, so here, I'm actually going to take Squid Ink. All right. Uh, for the AOE damage and because I do have this water skill buff all right extra attack and extra uh, max HP all right and AOE damage as well so it's gonna be uh, the thing that I'm gonna go for and then hopefully I can get you know peppermint here peppermint is gonna be amazing wow crimson coral comes out so if it, because I only had one tank this is this is a perfect example. My Crimson Coral is going to have the Crimson Coral buff, all right, or the Coral Armor buff. This is really, really good. Now I have Crimson Coral squidding. Both of them are going to gain, all right, extra 30%, all right, uh, attack and uh, max HP. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, something here. I'm going to take this here uh, because I do have Vampire as of right now. All right, if I can get Sorbet on top of that, that's absolutely amazing too. All right, but right, here we go. Um, something that I yeah I definitely want to have is if I can get sorbet here with peppermint. That's like the optimal, most optimal I think, uh, kind of team that you can get. Uh, let's see. So the in range is not too bad if you have I would say someone like golden cheese and the attack speed buff. Or like the attacks, uh, you know, the cooldown stuff. But if not, I'm just going to go with this just to increase, um, you know, my HP for Crimson Coral. So sadly, did not get uh, someone like Peppermint there. Don't take Caramel Arrow. I mean, I love Caramel Arrow. But if, if you're going to, you know, want to take advantage of Crimson Coral, probably don't want to uh, take Caramel Arrow in most scenarios. All right. But here we go. Ooh, true damage. This is awesome, awesome. True damage is awesome. Uh, the boss is really tanky, guys, by the way. The boss is really tanky. So keep that in mind. And you might want to try to get buffs that are going to increase your damage, uh, just overall damage in general against bosses, uh, true damage, Increasing attack uh, every couple seconds in the battle. Uh, those are all really, really good stuff. You know, you kind of need them. You will want them. Uh, because you're, the boss is going to basically one-shot you. Or slowly one-shot you. Uh, if you don't burst it down. If, like, eventually. So... Uh, Take this real quick here, because Golden Cheese does have skill. Uh, thankfully, we did get Pure Vanilla, so that's good. I'm not getting the Sorbet that I want right now. So what does Enrage do? Enrage basically increases the uh, the attack speed of your cookies. 
I'm not 100% sure if it uh, increases maybe possibly attack as well, but we just know at least for sure that it does uh, go and, uh, you know, increase your entire uh, attack speed. All right. Yeah, Pinecone is also frontliner. Uh, sadly, we are not getting some of the cookies that we want, but... We still have Crimson Coral, we have Squid Ink, we have uh, Vampires uh, to, to kind of dodge as well. So, Alright, here we go. So I'm going to kind of decrease the uh, uh, speed right here. I'm going to kind of dodge that one. I'm going to use this. Dodge that skill. Alright. We're alive. Pure Vanilla Shield. Or I'm gonna dodge that. Right there. Good stuff. Rocks are still alive. Pure Vanilla needs to heal. Oh, yeah. But that happens. So, you can see we did pretty good amount of damage, but I mean, our buffs. Honestly speaking, we're not that great against bosses. Like, the 25% boss thing is kind of needed, right? Uh, we kind of need that if we want to really kill the boss. I would say the crit percent boss damage, this is also really, really good. And then I would say this is honestly one of the best things to use when you have a decently, like, tanky team and you have Sorbet or someone like that, is this. Damage to enemies every 10 seconds plus 5%. Resets at start of wave. This will be amazing against uh, Golden Cheese. But like the buffs are kind of similar to what it was before. But I would say the element buffs are kind of like the key to beating a lot of these, uh, you know, these kind of stages in my opinion right now. So try to take advantage of the element buffs. Water and fire are probably the best two. All right. And then, uh, yeah, go with the buffs that we have talked about before but i'll be making a separate tier list as well i have uh, someone uh you know a viewer who has shared their kind of tier list so i'm gonna kind of base it off of theirs because uh, a lot of them i agree with so um, we'll, we'll, i'll be sharing that as well 